There to mourn the death of Queen Elizabeth, the crowd outside Windsor Castle were surprised but delighted to see Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, along with Prince William and wife Kate, coming towards them. Wearing all black and emerging from the same car, the four have not been spotted so closely together since Harry and Meghan gave up their royal titles to move to the United States a move that strained relations between the sons of the new King Charles. The invitation for the walkabout, which lasted about 40 minutes, was extended by William. Sorry for your loss. Thank you very much. You're very sweet. Thank you all for being here. And while the two couples did not interact much as they read messages and shook hands with the thousands of people lining the long walk, the significance of the moment was not lost on the crowd. I think that really just sort of uh, draws a line under what's happened historically and it's a really strong sense of unity I think for the royal family and it was really lovely to see. The sight of the two couples together will raise hopes that there has been a burying of old grievances following the death of their grandmother. In all due respect, I don't think the uh, Queen would have wanted to take the games off. I think she would have wanted to end with uh, this day and age of mental health. Grassroots has been cancelled. People going out, seeing friends, exercising, or just seeing friends at the game and watching the game, taking their minds off things. So I think it's a bit of a poor decision, if I'm honest. 
it's hard for me to comment on it not being from here, so I understand. Um, but I think there could be a lot of cool tributes that could have been done with fans in the stadium and a black armbands and a moment of silence. And it sounds like she was a football fan. Oh, it's a quick thing to do. I mean, we just come back from the palace, so we uh, we came up from Swindon today to pay our respects. With simulated smoke and bright flashing lights, Vietnamese car maker VinFast presented its all-electric sport utility vehicles on Saturday. The crowd gathered for the event applauded the first batch of the electric SUVs made for local customers. But VinFast is setting its sights on the international market, with U.S. deliveries of the EVs due to begin as soon as December. These first vehicles will be delivered to our Vietnamese customers. After that, the next batch of 5,000 vehicles will be produced for the U.S. and North American market. We will start producing that batch next week. Then we will start producing for the EU market. VinFast, which began operations in 2019, is hoping its VF8 and VF9 models can compete with legacy automakers and startups in the U.S. One customer picking up the keys to a VF8 says his vehicle was ready faster than anticipated. The speed of delivery surprised me. My estimate was that I would be among the first orders that were being fulfilled sometime in November. When VinFast informed me that I can have my car in September, I was quite surprised by their development and production speed. This is good news for both EV enthusiasts and VinFast car owners. The company has registered 65,000 reservations globally and says it expects to sell 750,000 EVs per year by 2026. And in March, VinFast announced plans to build a production facility in North Carolina with an initial projected capacity of 150,000 EVs a year. For U.S. customers, the VF8 will start at just over $42,000 and the VF9 will begin at $57,500, excluding the cost to lease the electric battery. The company said options that include batteries will also be available.